Hi all, I just want to show you the uh, puzzle book project is coming along. If you go to the improved menu at chessworld.net, you'll see that uh, many of the world championship games we covered recently are all in puzzle book form now as well for you to try. And uh, you can click this start puzzles button now for convenience. So we had this variation here in the game covered earlier. Knight h5 clings onto the pawn. Now knight c6, I believe. And now g5, and now I think it was h6. Okay, so we can also check now our preferences, literally check them here. Yeah, uh, so we could be just wanting checkmates, we could click store preferences. It might not find that many. Uh, there's a little, little uh, trick here. Let's, let's have a look at this for a moment. Was it bishop d6? Now queen here. <clears throat> Maybe check, check here. Hmm, and um, what was it here? Queen H4. Okay, I'm a bit stuck, so it's good revision tool. Uh, yeah, okay, so I think we're mating pretty soon now. Um, taking here. It's a bit pedantic sometimes because it's only the variations are explicitly. Uh, you have to find the exact uh, moves that were mentioned in the variations. Okay, that's a bit of a limitation, I know, but uh, we've got this ruthless filter on, so we're just looking at checkmates here. I think this one was bishop b4 to get the queen to h4. So there's a check, and now there's a check here. And now check here looks good. Okay, we'll try this one. No, actually, there's a mating one here, queen h3. <laughs> Okay, so you get the idea. In fact, if you run out on your filter, you can just go to the next book uh, and it will carry on with your filter. This is a cute thing I thought myself. So we can look at a previously annotated game again. Um, I think it was e5 to open up the bishop. Was it rook takes g5? This this could have been a one with rook takes g5 first and we get that chat, mate. So you get into um, revision of all variations I've ever covered. <laughs> so a wonderful, I think it's a wonderful complementary tool. Uh, to check out. Uh, so I think here, uh, King F1, King H1, E takes. This gets a bit involved, this one. And I've completely forgotten now, <laughs> which is why this tool could be handy. Uh, I've completely forgotten. Maybe there could be a hint facility soon. <laughs> Queen uh, e6 is clearly not the move. Okay, uh, I think I'll do preview solution. Sometimes it's better to preview solution <laughs> and then work your way through it, just just uh, as a sort of reinforcement tool. Uh, let's just work plus play, play here. <laughs> Uh, okay, rook takes g5 there, quite ruthless, and then queen h6. All right, so I hope you get the idea that you can apply whatever filters you want. I thought the um, the small advantage ones uh, are kind of handy as well. Let's go back to the puzzle books. Uh, so the video we did earlier, I mean, to just get an idea of the openings, actually, it's quite handy, small advantage and clear advantage. I, I'm not sure I'm a fan myself of play for equality they're just there for just more general overview of what's going on so uh if we store the preferences we're back to uh 22 to check out so here for example this is a good opening question black should probably play d5 and then take here uh, so you see you see how these influence the style of <clears throat> questioning it's not g5 this is an instructive thing in a way it's actually knight c6. It's tempting to play g5 here. It's actually knight c6 to put pressure on white center, then g5. And I've noticed myself the strictness of looking for weakness of the last move has been emphasized to me uh, through doing the puzzles myself uh, in particular. Mm. That click you heard, you might have heard in the background, is I'm looking at t set in another window with avid interest the t set competition at the moment. Which I hope you are too. It's it's a great competition. Um, G five here. It wasn't G five. I think it was Bishop G four to give access after Knight C six to threaten Knight D four. Now to take here, which makes way for Queen H four. 
So you get the idea I hope uh, you can configure it basically and you can go across multiple books you can navigate across multiple books. So I hope you find that pretty cool and pretty useful. Please let me know any any feedback comments suggestions. I'll try and take them on board in later evolutions of this complimentary tool to the Kings Crusher YouTube channel. Thanks very much.